Stop what you're doing. Thank you very much. Don't skip, don't trip, don't trip. If you want to make some tasty ass jerk chicken with a signature flavor station, Yardy sauce, which I invented. No drum, just an oven. Homemade paste marinade. Keep it locked. Bow. Right then baby, we're back. We're gonna need a bit of hot curry powder, some jerk seasoning, that's the bomb. This one, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, celery powder, it's sick. Onion, scotch bonnet, skillion or spring onion, fresh thyme, out the garden, lovely jubbly garlic, cinnamon sticks. You can use powdered cinnamon, but I like these. You'll see why soon. Look at that chopping board, beautiful. Hand blender, little pot to make your paste. I'm gonna flip that because I like my face. Now, with your spring onions, you wanna shred off all that moldy, weird stuff. It's on all of them, you always get it, especially if you grow them yourself. Give them a rinse, make sure they're all clean. Rinsed and ready. Chop that end off, because that's normally got a bit of sand in it. Just check your ends. Lovely jubbly. Chop your roots off, you can replant them. Rough chop these, chopper chopper. Knife skills episode on the channel too, if you're a bit of a noob. Dude, scotch bonnet. Now this is the fire blood. Two scotch bonnets. If you don't like the heat, leave it out or use jalapeno or something like that. But you need the flavor. One honyan chapa chapa. Cheese garlic, just crush it, bang it in there. No messing. Seal your fresh stuff there, there. Oh my days. Time now, half into your paste. Just twist that, twist that, twist that. Lovely jubbly. Curry powder, I'd say one tablespoon. That's hot curry powder. Jerk seasoning. You can make your own seasoning blend. Flavor station season blend pot on its way. You know what, more. Less is more, damn not. Bit of water, blend that. You're making a paste. This is what your chicken's gonna sit in for two to three days. You can just do it or buy it in a jar, but that is a dead thing, blood. What go on here? Blender, blender. Now it will look a bit strange, like a dirty nappy. But look at that, trust me, the smell, and watch your eyes, you know. Because you can go blind, brethren. And you don't want to go blind. Trust me, that splashes up into your face. You have had it. You are done out here. Wipe down your dirty man. Yes, man, now we've got the paste ready. Everything combined, all that lovely veg and herbs and spice and them thing there. Chicken, washed, vinegar, you know. Watch the how to prep a chicken episode. Wash your meat. Yes, it's a good idea. I don't care what anybody says about the splashing. That is what disinfectant is for, you dirty pig. Yes, now just combine all that, just flip her over, massage the legs, look at that, coated and smelling beautiful. Now, this is where mine's a bit different, this is how you do it at home, no drum, no barbecue, I'm going to get some peppers, red, gold and green, you don't know the flavour, yeah, the rest of your thyme in the bottom there, lovely. Cinnamon sticks, I'm going to use three. You can use powder in your seasoning, but I like these because they stew up to make the yardy sauce, which you'll see, don't you worry. Bit of potato in there. Trust me, this is a next level meal. Bit of cold water. Remember, this is your marinade. You can bang this straight in the oven if you wish, if you ain't into the flavor getting all the way through to the bone. And then just bang them in there. Lovely little legs, man. Fresher the better, wash your meat, don't tell me nothing. People them I say them, them no wash their meat cause it's splash by the sink. Kinda mess that. Rubber, rubber, foil, tight, tight as a tiger. And I'm gonna bang mine three days. Three days later. Lovely oven, we're back. 180, nah, damn it, 200. 200 degrees C, pierce a tiny hole in the top. It lets the steam escape. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't stew your meat so much. Yes, man, into a nice hot oven. Lovely job, you tray underneath for the OCD. Now, an hour and a half later, look on the chicken, no man. 
just stab the fire a bit. You see it's, it wants to fall away from the bone. That means it's tender. It's cooked through, stewing in its juices, look. Oh my days. Now, normally what you do, you bang this in your drum or on a barbecue to crisp it up. But we're normal people. I ain't got a barbecue at the moment. Car locked down. So I'm going to get a tray with foil. Bam, bam. Bang them on there and I'm going to grill them just to crisp them up. Just to dry out the herbs a little bit, give it that intense flavour. You know, and you bite into it and it's like rotted. This is some good chicken. That's what we're going for. Trust the process. Now that's ready for the oven. Bang. Under the grill. You want to put your grill on half power, not full. Let it slowly crisp up. See it there? That's about five minutes. Looking good already. Now, yardy sauce, my invention. It's a ting. Pick out your cinnamon sticks and your thyme, because that goes down your throat. Again, you're done out here, rude boy. Oh, no, not the peppers or potato. Just get as much out as you can. You can go in with your fingers once it's cooled down, if you wish. But look at that. We're going to infuse all this lovely veg and flavour into a sauce to go with this chicken. Oh my days, the sweetness of the pepper, you got the cinnamon fragrance, thyme, skellion, scotch bonnet, garlic, oh my god. Are these not the best ingredients in the world? Saucepan, hot heat, high heat, boom, bang that in there. Easy process. You got your starch from your potato, adding a nice little bit of mm, the texture, clinging to the roof of your mouth. Oh, chicken, 15 minutes in. See how it start bubble, bubbling out the skin. Lord of mercy, it look good. Now, use a fork. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Use a fork just to break down that potato a little bit. Still want chunks in there, but get that starch working, yeah? Gives it a nice creamy texture and that. Now, that's 15, 20 minutes in. Look, pan the chicken, it done. Mmm. Oh, I can smell it and I want it. Oh, God. Man. Look, I've got... A I've got to go again. It's out, it's out the oven, it's on a tray. Let it rest for five minutes. In that time, finish your sauce. Like simmering, grab a little bit of gravy granules. And that's it, man. Mix it up till it's thick and bubbling. And you have yardy sauce. And let me tell you, I'm gonna bang this on my next Sunday dinner. Mmm. I had a lot of people messaging on the Instagram. Follow at flavor underscore station. Yeah, get involved, mad active on there, daily content, polls and all that. Get involved with me, man. We're gonna cook some good stuff from around the world real soon. Now look at that sauce. Bam. I'm gonna have mine with a little coriander rocket, radish, tomato and spring onion salad. Chicken on there. Nice Denby plate, you know how we do. Oh! Look at that chicken. Grab your other leg. Oh man, just spin out the plate. Mm. Now come behind that with your yardy sauce. I'm telling you, try out this yardy sauce, man. My invention, but it bangs. Leave a comment, like. And there you have it. Jerk chicken, flavor of our mm. mm. Just look at that. Jesus. Check the fee sauce. The seasoning. Mm. It's sweet us. Authentic but done the easy way. In your oven, in a casserole dish, which then made a sick sauce. Scotch bonnet, thyme, skellion, onion, everything, locker. With a lovely bit of salad, maybe? Hmm, yeah, with a nice little salad. Trust me, try it, it bangs blood. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell thingy. Bang. See you soon. Bang.